So, continuing on with my uh, framing of the door. What I am doing, this is just the, the rough framing part. It'll look a lot nicer when it's done. I have the bottom section complete. I have this lift up so I can reach in and open the door. I have these, which uh, worked out better than I thought because you will see there was a notch on each side of these. And uh, I was very fortunate in that they have the exact height that I need to slip under here, take less room in here, and fit under this lip. Uh, these went to an old bed underneath. So what I will be doing is putting these pieces up and putting this piece across here. Now again, I apologize for the lighting because this is the best I can do right now. In order to cover up this gap <coughs> uh, and avoid hitting this all the time, when I uh, was dismantling my bus, this is a bumper guard that was up on the back here, and I can't tell you how many times I've almost hit this or this, and yeah, it doesn't feel too good. So this will help cover up this space right here, and uh, hopefully keep me from hitting my head from now on. So, All right, so what I'm doing here now is I have, I had to get two sets of washers. really small ones so they wouldn't go through ahead of this and then larger ones after um, because I really don't want to ruin the rubber on this and it's just a lot easier uh, if I take care of what I'm doing all right I have one two a third one I'm putting in what I would like to do is to find something that will make these black. I'll find some kind of permanent marker so they don't stand out so much. Um, because I really needed something to keep the uh, screw from pulling in through uh, this rubber thing. Uh, let's see if I can give you a little bit better finishing tour here. Well, it's not really finished yet. So my frame is going up. Uh, all the way around on the top here uh, and of course down the side this will be so that uh, at some point when I am traveling with my cats uh, this area will be open but blocked off so they can't get out uh, I will be finding a way to make those a little bit more secure so they won't fall up I'll find some easy method to uh, not just use the pressure to lock and place, place left and right, but maybe some bar that goes uh, on the top, in front. Uh, this one here, it's not resting on anything. The only thing keeping up is the tension. So I might cut a couple pieces of wood that are designed to maybe even just Velcro in there or something so that that rests down. Um, doesn't fall in the way. Because my, my goal for this back section here is mainly just to have it as an area where the wind can flow through and I'll do something in the front for breeze purposes. What I might do is like this window, for example, uh, this one here, uh, I will have uh, a gate that I can put in front of that to create a cross breeze, uh, or I could do some kind of venting in the door. I haven't decided yet. Because I don't plan on going out. Sorry about the lighting keeps getting biting. Down. I don't plan on going out this lot, but I don't want it so permanent uh, that, you know, in case of emergency, I can't get myself out really quick. 